Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Second Battle of Suffolk, otherwise known as the Battle of Hills Point, located in Suffolk, Virginia on the 11th of April through the 4th of May. 1863. Once again, we find ourselves back at Suffolk, Virginia, in the desire of the Confederates to take the port area. On April 19th, the Confederates, having successfully surrounded and put Suffolk under siege, Union command had gotten desperate in their attempts to free Suffolk, and this resulted in Union General John J. Peck ordering 300 Union troops to catch the Confederates off guard if possible. Utilizing a strategy that dates back to ancient Greece, Union troops used transports sitting in the river as a Trojan horse to get close to the Confederates. At 6 p.m. on April 19th, Union troops consisting of the 8th Connecticut and 89th New York exited the transport ships near the Confederate defenses at Hills Point on the Nansamond River. Confederate Captain Robert M. Stribling and his Fakir artillery were caught completely off guard and were taken prisoner within 15 minutes. The Union had secured five heavy artillery pieces that were guarding the river and 130 Confederate prisoners. This opened the river back up to Union transports providing some relief to the Union and allowing supplies to begin flowing into Suffolk again. In a concerted effort, U.S. Brigadier General Michael Corcoran followed this up on April 24th with an attack on Confederate General George E. Pickett's right flank. Unfortunately for the Union, Corcoran and his men were pushed back with ease by the Confederate defenders. Confederate command had become worried about the Union's movement and Union General Grant's feints recently. And on April 30th, Confederate General Lee contacted Longstreet in Richmond and had him move the Confederate First Corps from its siege of Suffolk and they head to Fredericksburg to join up with the Army of Northern Virginia. Unbeknownst to Lee, on that same day, Union General Joseph Hooker, yes he is back folks, had moved his men around Lee's flank at Chancellorville and almost made a break for it. Hooker was ultimately unsuccessful, but it forced Lee to move his troops in to fight him. Later that week, on May 3rd, Longstreet had finally moved his supply trains across the Blackwater River and lifted the siege of Suffolk. While the siege itself may not have been successful, Longstreet was successful in preventing a Union attack on Richmond. Total casualties for the siege were 260 Union killed, wounded, or missing, while 1,160 Confederates were killed, wounded, or missing, and this included 130 Confederates captured at Hills Point. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.